2003 Audi A3 2.0 TFSI. And this one is actually a front wheel drive. I'm actually at my friend Jimmy's house. What happens is uh, I have to return this one. So I'm like, you know what? I got to do a video on it now before it goes back because they've actually already finished my car. So they already finished my car. So I got to return this one to show you the trunk, even though I got a whole bunch of stuff in it. But uh, eh, not much room. One of the things I like about this car is it has yellow turn signals, which is rare. This is a base model. So you got like basically the crappy wheels. One of the things I don't like that I noticed, and this has happened quite a few times when I picked up the car, it had leaves in there. I cleaned them out, it's got leaves in there again. It's kind of strange. And even on this side, <laughs> you know, it's amazing that one of the tests that car companies should do is where leaves go. And it all sucks, because that's gonna get in there, every car. Let's take a look on the inside. You know what I never did? I don't think I, did I look under the hood? Let's see, car's pretty peppy, 200 horsepower. I'll tell you, this little car holds. And maybe it even feels peppier because of being front wheel drive. That's a thing. You know, basically like driving around a GTI, but yeah, I don't know what it is. How, if the leaves are coming in from here underneath or what, but it's, it, it looks bad because you're almost like, well, this gap is way too big. All right, so let's take a look on the inside. Got the rubber mats in there the way it should. That was like one of the only options to this car. This particular one only has 2,000 miles on it. So let's just go over the sticker. Might as well. Okay, so front wheel drive. They don't even call it front track anymore, do they? Let's see, transmission with front wheel drive. Nope, they don't call it front tracks. Back in the day, they used to call it front track. So packages and options, you see, it's got the mats. Let's just go over it. You got $595 for black and $180 for the, the mats. $36,670 is the total price. $34,800. I don't know. You know what? The destination charge is just ridiculous. Just, just including the price of the car. So 32 miles per gallon combined and 29.38. I'll tell you, this car does get pretty good gas mileage. When I first got it, it was like 520, and I've already put a buck 50 on it. I was hauling it a little bit. I was tracking really, really good mileage, but uh, I did fill it up. I was tracking really, really good mileage, and then I was hauling on it a little bit, so I might have. Well, let's take a look on the inside. You know, it's got all the goodies. You can set it up the way you want. It's kind of annoying, this stuff with all these cars, because they're not fully set. But once you do set them up, we'll never do it again, you know. So we have, uh, let's go to, what the heck are we looking for? We're looking for, no, not at it. It's got the efficiency, which doesn't really tell you anything because it's not electric. Air conditioning, auto recyclation, I always put that on. Lighting visibility, it won't give you anything on the inside of the car because, you know, it's not like set up in a sense where it doesn't have the LED or anything like that. That might be something better for uh, an upgraded version. Tire pressure monitoring, which never gives you the pressure for whatever reason. Driver assistance. Lane departure warning. Uh, I didn't have that on, but it's kind of annoying. Presense. What else we got? We got... I wanted to look at the... What do you call it? It's actually... Here, the display. You know what? I never even got a chance to change up the virtual cockpit. Let's see how this one looks. Oh, come on. Where is it? No. Where is it? MMI. No. Virtual cockpit. I know I saw something the other day. Look, here. so here we go. That. But I thought I could actually change up the, the gauges. Why did I think that? MMI. Nope strange i could swear you could change the gauges on this particular one too then again look i'm just rambling i don't know what the f i'm doing when i first picked this car up they asked oh what do you want a q3 uh q5 i'm like i'll try a3 
I was like, ah, this thing's a piece of crap when they got into it. It felt really crappy. I was like, what the hell is this? What am I in the 911? So you got sport mode. And now it also has this con, you know, it shuts itself off. It's, uh, you can get rid of that though, if you want to. It also shuts itself off on the highway and just coast, believe it or not. Only has the rear camera on this one. You know, you got Android Auto and it's wireless, which is great, which is a nice feature. They also have this now. My car doesn't have that, you know, because it's a 19 versus this one. They added this little feature to it now. Now, this is hilarious. Check this out. <laughs> it's not purchased. I wonder if you could purchase it or is it just totally not in the car? You know what I mean? But now everything's about purchases, subs uh, subscriptions. I have to subscribe to some of the things on my e-tron. It's kind of funny. But this is weird, too. Check this out. It's, like, touch sensitive. It's got buttons, though. But it's weird. You also have the volume, of course, here. What do I think of the car? You know what? After driving, I was like, yo, it's pretty impressive. I I'm not going to lie. It's fun. I'll tell you. It does haul. Usual new Audi nonsense with the headlights that you can't control. It does have a rear fog light supposedly back there. Three spoke steering wheel, very nice. You have the pop the trunk. You also have the heated outside mirrors. You know, it's loaded, it does. And one of the cool things is, like most Audis now, they have the adjustable thing, but this one's got a clicker. So really nice, I'm impressed. There you go.